I'm addicted to the love that you're giving Every minute, every day I've been craving and I don't wanna get you out of my system No Cause I like the way it feels when you touch me You got me, you got me good You got me, you got me good All I'm thinking about is when you come around Cause you got me, you got me Play the game just like a pro, didn't stand a chance You took it all, yeah, you won by a landslide Oh, babe, left your trademark on my cheek, now I'm all yours let me call you up at night just to hear your voice. Yeah, good. There. Cool. What you got there? I have mint ice cream. It's so yummy. No, it's vanilla. Vanilla ice cream. What do you have? Mint. It's it. It's it. Um, San Francisco. <laughs> and where are we going? Let me see. See those boats over there? We are going to go on the island. Because we're gonna take the ferry boat. Where people, where people go to prison. <laughs> and oh, no one take, no one takes them anymore. No one takes them to the prison. It, the prison is closed. Why? So, Why is it you know, pops. He used to work at a prison. Did you know that? Did you know that Pops used to work at a prison? No. And Uncle Bobby still works still works at a prison. What? Yeah. His, his name is so funny. What is it, Uncle Bobby? Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. We are going to San Francisco Alcatraz today. We are currently on a ferry. You can see San Francisco right there. And then over there you can see, um, well, you can see the Bay Bridge, kind of. Specific boat departure times are located on Alcatraz Island. Hey guys, where are you going? Alcatraz Island. Alcatraz Island. Alcatraz Island is called The Rock. It's a prison, an old prison. Once again, thank you for Look at the city. Look at San Francisco. Pops used to work at San Quentin. It's a different prison. Look at the city. The Bay Bridge. I have been living here my entire life and I have never gone to Alcatraz Island. I'm super excited to see it today and I'm excited that I can share it with you guys as well. Alcatraz including uneven walking surfaces, steep hills, and hazardous closed areas. The first thing we saw as soon as we got to the island was the social hall, also known as the officer's club. The club had a small bar, library, large dining room and dance floor, ping pong table and pool tables in a two lane bowling alley. It was the center of social life on the island for the employees of the penitentiary. The building you see on the left is called Building 64. The two top floors of this structure were constructed by the U.S. Army in 1905 to house soldiers stationed on the island. In 1934, it was converted into apartments where correctional officers and their families lived. Check out the oh, view. There's a nice um, eat here. Yes, they lived here. They eat here, here and they drink Do you have water. any questions? Do you have any questions? Um, 
I don't know what prisoners eat here. Yeah, they lived here. They lived here, they worked here, they, well, how come they lived here. How do they work? Alcatraz we'll is located go about a mile out. and a quarter offshore of San Francisco, California. The small island was developed with facilities for a lighthouse, a military fortification, a military cool. prison in 1828, and a federal prison from 1934 until 1963. Today, the island's facilities are managed by the National Park Services of the Golden Gate National Recreation Area. It is open to visitors and people travel all around the world to come check it out. Alcatraz is home to the abandoned prison, the site of the oldest operating lighthouse on the west coast of the United States. Landmarks on the island include the main cell house, a dining hall, a library, lighthouse, the ruins of the warden's house, and the officer's club. There's also building 64, a water tower, new industries buildings, model industry buildings, and a recreational yard for the prisoners. This was super spooky to experience. Look how small this morgue is. Can you just imagine their bodies laying on that table? And that's like a cremation thing, a machine in the background, I think. Super creepy. Oh, this is where the prisoners lived in their cells. Why is it? Why is Because they locked them in because they're in jail. The whole purpose of being in jail is to lock them in so the bad guys can't get out. and you go to prison, break the prison rules, and you go to Alcatraz. Look, look, Alcatraz? Yeah, look, it's a real picture. Wow, look. No, this is, let's see what this is. There's the showers. They took a shower when they first came in. And then this is where they changed their clothes to prison clothes, and then they grabbed a pillow and a blanket to go to their cell. Wait, you know what the blankets? Yeah. The towels. I know, blankets. they're towels. They're not very comfy blankets, huh? This is where they took showers. Where they go? Like a bunch of tourists today. I'll see. Look at the jail cell. This time for lunch and stuff. This is your bed. This is where they slept. I want to see you. No, you can't go inside. Why? Where did they? We can go into another one, but look how small they are. Some don't have beds. My little prison here. Would you like to live in there? No. From 1934 to 1963, Alcatraz became a maximum security prison that housed nation's most dangerous prisoners. Max capacity was 450. Some notable prisoners were Al Capone, 1934, George Machine Gun Kelly, 1934, James Whiteley Burglar, 1959. Every prisoner at Alcatraz had its own cell. Guard to prisoner ratio was one to three. The Alcatraz complex included many different areas such as electric shop, building 64, boat dock, officer's club, warden's house, recreational hall, officer's apartments, and a prisoner recreation yard. The main cell house held 600 cells. Most prisoners occupied 336 cells in blocks B and C. Each cell was a big enough for only a small cot and a sink and a toilet. In cells D and A block were used for segregation. Below A block was a Spanish dungeon, but was very rarely used. 
Over the years, 36 prisoners tried to escape from Alcatraz in a total of 14 attempts. Of the 36 men who tried to escape, 23 were caught. Six were shot and killed during their escape and two more drowned. Five completely disappeared and were never seen from again. Right, we're going in isolation. This is where the prisoners would go when they were really, really, really bad. Wait, no bad? Really bad. They would get locked in here. This is isolation. Did they sleep on the ground? Uh, there was Pretty cool place. A water tower. This is the yard where the prisoners would get their exercise during the day. I was reading up on it and it said that they only got one hour a day. Has anyone seen the movie Escape from Alcatraz? Clint Eastwood plays the main character Frank Morris and it's based in 1963. The story of Frank Morris among a few other of his um, innate friends that actually escaped from Alcatraz. We don't know what happened to them. They've never been seen from yet, but they successfully escaped whether they drowned or they were living out there somewhere. It's a great story. It really gives a good reflection on what the conditions were of the prison at that time. I highly recommend it. If I can find it, I will link it below so you guys can rent it from Amazon or purchase it if you really like it. So creepy. How small it is in here. Uh, creepy. Good lighting though. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope it was informative and you learned something about the island of Alcatraz. There was so much more to see on this island. I'm definitely gonna have to come back when I don't have five kids with me. It is definitely melt time city and it's time for us to get back on the ferry and go home. Thank you so much everyone for watching and like always, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day.